Hi guys, so I um, had an idea for a little project and um, let me get a little adjustment here. I went ahead and started prepping it because I wasn't sure how I was gonna prep it or how I was gonna like bring this to life, but I wanted to go ahead and film this part of it just in case it ends up being a success so I can share it with all of you. So what I have here, um, I'll explain the numbers in just a second. I have, um, it's just a half inch pre-prepped. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's got the nail hole in the back of it already, square piece of wood. Now I did um, sand this and clean it. And what I used to color the top part of it is this Liquitex acrylic ink. I used the titanium white. Of course, that's not going to want to focus. And that's because it, it just gave it like a light white color without me worrying about um, paint peeling up when I pull my stencils back. So it is prepped underneath here in a white. Now, um, I know when I flipped it over, you can see the nail holes at the top. When I flip it back over, my numbers are upside down. That doesn't matter because this is shapes. It's not words. I don't know if you can see the cut lines in there, but it's shapes. So it won't matter which direction it's turned, <clears throat> if it's this way or the other way. Now, the reason I have the numbers on here is I planned out my color scheme ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about making any errors. I know where everything's gonna go. I know what to expect during the process. I made myself a little key over here that coincides with my numbers. So um, the colors that I'm gonna be using, the number one is Flash Dance, which is one of our Feathers Cut Glitters. It's a super pretty white with silver and opalescent, and it's the Irregular Cut Flake, super gorgeous. I'm also gonna be using one of our custom mixes, Roses and Rust which is a rose gold combination. Got a lot of light on that, but. It's a rose gold blend. It has some holographic in it. Super pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will be using Raven, which is another one of our feathers cut glitters. It's in a gunmetal holographic. And then I made a mix. And for the mix, I used Fire Agate and Cocoa Bean, which are both a dark Java Brown. Cocoa Bean is the larger flake fine mix, and Fire Agate is the extra fine of that color. And then I also used Caramel and Little Caramel. So this is the fine blend. It has a mix of sizes in it. And then Little Caramel has the extra fine. Get that off of there. So I mixed all four of these equal parts together because I wanted it to be a little bit brown, a little bit golden. That's the color I was wanting for this. So that is my colors. And then I have my little key here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use more of the Liquitex acrylic inks so that I don't have to worry about um, acrylic paint drying. But I'm gonna use these guys. I'm gonna use this pink under the roses and rust. I'm gonna use the carbon black underneath the Raven. And I'm going to use the rich bronze underneath the golden brown mix that I created. And my little paintbrush. And I need to grab an adhesive. I thought I had it out and I don't. I'll be right back.
Okay, so for the adhesive part of this, I am going to be using Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. It's the one that I prefer to use. I'm just gonna put this in a little measuring cup here so that I'm not contaminating my jar. I can set that aside. Okay, so I'm gonna do this color by color. That way I can use each color of glitter and then clean up my mess and move on to the next color. That's why I have all this paper down behind it. Move all my stuff off of here. So the first color, number one, is uh, Flash Dance. Going by my key over here, I'm gonna move that out of the way. And that is the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my tweezers to peel off that part of the stencil. Ta-da! And this is already, this is the white I was telling you about. So I used the white acrylic ink. You can see how you can still see the wood grain through that, but it is giving me a white base. So this is where I'm gonna put this color. I don't need to put one of the other acrylic inks over the top of it. This is exactly what I'm wanting for this. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to just carefully, but quickly, like I don't wanna like slop it all over. I wanna go in as close as I can to the very edge of this. Spread the Mod Podge on there. Make sure I get right up to that edge. And then once I have a fair amount of the Mod Podge painted into this shape, I'm gonna just take my paintbrush and smooth it out so that I don't have any mountains or peaks or oversized ridges that are gonna stick up once I put the glitter down. Okay, make sure that that is completely coated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump my glitter on. Let's get a nice coating over the top of where I just painted that Mod Podge. And then I like to actually press down just to make sure that the glitter is sticking really nicely to that adhesive. So I'm just giving that a nice little press. I'm not gonna dump it off of here yet because I have a couple more spots that are going to require that same color of glitter. So I'm going to do those first. That way I can dump onto the paper, put it back into the jar, move on to the next color, and I don't have to circle back. So I'm just gonna pull all of these off. All right, and then I'm gonna paint my Mod Podge into these little sections. I'm going to paint the Mod Podge and then I'm going to dust the glitter section by section. That way I don't risk my Mod Podge drying before I'm ready. Okay, sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Just want to make sure that whole section is completely covered. And then repeat to the other sections. that 
down, move to this side. Apologize, my arm is in the way there. All right, and then this last one here. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm just gonna pat one more time, make sure this is all pressed in. Now I'm gonna take my board here. And tap it off. And I'm gonna take it off to the side and kind of blow off the excess. Okay. So what I'm gonna do really quickly here is dump these outside papers because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to cover. I'm gonna dump those back in to the container here. as much of this excess glitter off of here as I can and then lay these back out. I'm going to get a little bit of glitter intermixed in there, but it's okay. All right. So the next color in my little color key here is going to require me to do the base color that I was telling you guys about earlier with the Liquitex. So the next color on my key is Roses and Rust. That's the number two. So everywhere that I have a number two, I'm going to be peeling that up and painting it with the liquid acrylic. Let's do that. There's a number two. Just gonna grab that. And grab this one. Planning your colors out ahead of time makes this process much easier. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my pink liquid acrylic. Just giving it a shake. I wanna make sure this is nice and shaken up. And I am actually going to put it into another one of these little medicine jars. So these have a eyedropper. Gonna put some of that in there and then use a small detail brush in order to go in and paint this section. So I'm gonna start by the outer edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
This is just so that the pink glitter that's going down has a nice base so that it's um, got a stark contrast. So I'm gonna just go through the motions here, do this with the liquid acrylic. Get that painted on there until I have this entire section painted out and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back with the next part. I finished using the magenta acrylic ink to paint in these sections before I put the pink glitter over the top of it. So I'm gonna go in now with my Mod Podge, the same as I did before. And I'm just gonna do this section by section. So I'm gonna start over here. And I'm gonna be really careful with this line right here next to the other color of glitter. It's up to me to keep that line crisp. The rest of them will be kept crisp by the stencil, but that one is on me, so. Paint this in quickly. Right up into that corner there. And then quickly run over it and make sure that it is smooth. And I'm gonna do this section by section. So I got that part done. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle my glitter on there. Pat that down like I did before. And then I am gonna shake this one off. I'm just gonna do it right over here off that end. There we go. Repeat the process all the way around the board. I'm gonna just slap this on all the way around this outside edge here. And I'm being careful not to overlap too far over the top of the stencil, but I, there is some overlap there, it's okay. Make sure you get right into those edges and corners really well because that's what's gonna create the shape. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have your adhesive all the way to the edges and into those corners. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there just to make sure that it's nice and sticky. Okay, and then same thing, go right back in with the glitter. If you need to go over and do a second coat of this, you can. Let's tap this in. and then repeat all the way around the board. I'm gonna go ahead and pause for a second while I complete this, and then I will be back before I start the next color. Okay, so I'm back with the next part. Um, I'm working on number three, excuse my hiccup. I went ahead and I peeled the parts already. These sections here did have the number three on them. I left one so I can show you the process of how I get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel this guy off. I'm 
And then once I peel that, I go ahead in with a little bit of that same color, sprinkle it right along the edge, and then just tap it in. Just so if there's any exposed adhesive there, that color can stick to it. And I just tap that off and blow off the excess. Now I will take a small paintbrush and remove any flakes of glitter that might be in the way. I also use the back of a paintbrush to go in and make sure that the edges of my vinyl for the next side, right in here, because if I put my finger right there, I'm gonna mess up the other color of glitter. So back of a paintbrush gets me right in there. You can use a um, one of the tools that you use to burnish your vinyl, you can use that too. But this is what I have in my hands. So I'm just gonna run over those really quick. And you wanna make sure that you frequently go through and press down the edges on each section as you go to make sure that you don't get any bleeding when you're doing the painting part. Everything is pretty well pressed. Okay, so the next part is going to be doing the, per my little, key here. The number threes have Raven, which is our dark holographic gun metal. And I am going to prep this by base coating in the acrylic ink and the color carbon black. I'm just going to open this up. It does have a dropper. I'm just gonna squirt some of this into one of these little medicine cups. Where'd I put my paintbrush? There it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in just like I did with the pink and I'm gonna start painting in the black. I'm gonna go right up to the edge here and then right up to the edge of the other color. This does not have to be perfect. This is just gonna serve as a darker base for that color glitter in case there is any of the wood showing through. So it doesn't have to be like a perfect full coverage. It's just gonna serve as a buffer. And I do the same thing all the way around, going in and painting this ink on there. And then I will come back once this is completely painted. Okay, so when I left you guys just a moment ago, I was painting in these sections with the black acrylic ink. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to paint in those sections with my Mod Podge. And sprinkle the glitter on. So these were the sections that I had marked with the number three. I have my little key over here so I know what glitter goes in them. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in my Mod Podge. being really careful along these edges where the colors meet so that we can keep that line crisp. But also make sure that I'm getting plenty of the adhesive down in there so that the glitter meets up and does create that overall cohesive shape.
just wipe it through really quick with my brush, make sure it's all even. And then we're gonna sprinkle it in, this is Raven. Go ahead and tap that on there so I can get on there quicker. Okay, press it in like I did the other ones, just to make sure that we're getting a nice amount of the glitter stuck to the adhesive. And I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna leave that on there while I move on to the next spot. I'm gonna continue this all the way around, painting in these sections. Make it right up in there, right along that edge really well. Make sure I'm getting down into these little, along these edges and into the corners. Really important to make sure that your adhesive gets all the way down in there. And then a quick smooth over. And down goes the glitter. Press it in there. I'm gonna repeat this all the way around the board um, for sake of making sure that this video doesn't end up being five hours long. <laughs> So I will come back after I have the Mod Podge painted onto these sections around the board. I will come back when that is complete. Okay, so I finished painting on the adhesive and adding the glitter to these parts. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that off. Can see there and I can see my shapes really well now and then I'm going to take the excess glitter and put it back into the jar have my page set up again. The last part of this is where it is marked with the fours, which is going to be this golden brown mix that I made. And I showed you guys how I created that in the beginning of the video, what I was used for that. So what is going to happen now at this step is I am going to peel the number fours. And then I am going to paint in those sections with more of the liquid acrylic ink. And this is an iridescent rich bronze. I thought it would be a good backer for this color. So once I go through and remove all of these, I wanna do, do it all in one swoop. So I wanna do all of the painting at once. I wanna do all the glittering at once. That way I don't have to change gears too frequently. Peeled off. Oh, the crisp lines, it's so pretty.
All right, so we're getting all of these peeled up. I'm gonna rotate this around. I think I'll do another one of these and do it as a time lapse for those of you that don't want to have to sit through the entire painful process because I understand. Getting all of these peeled up all the way around. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with the acrylic ink and I'm going to paint in these little sections. Make sure you shake this up really good because the pigment does separate and settle to the bottom. I'm just going to put a couple dropper fulls in there. That's all I'm going to need. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm using the acrylic ink as opposed to an acrylic paint because it covers quickly. Um, it has a rich color payoff and it uh, dries really fast. Just rinsing off my brush really quick so that I have a nice, crisp, clean brush to work with. And then I'm going to start painting this in. So if I start over here, you guys will be able to see, and then I will pause and finish it and then come back when it's done. So I'm gonna start just painting this in. Just take the edge of my brush right along that line of the other color of glitter there. Right. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around. I'm just taking my brush, I'm running it right along the edge of the other color, and then filling in the center. Again, this is just to create a subtle buffer for the color of glitter that's going down. That way there's no white shining through. And just take this right up into those little corners there. Really, really easy to work with. Because it is thin, it goes on kind of like an ink but it is highly pigmented. Oop, excuse me. If you guys can see down here. I'm making sure that I don't have too much paint on my brush because um, I don't want to like dip in and have a ton of the ink on here and then put it in these edges, then it'll bleed. So just enough, just a little bit on the tip and then drag it along that edge just to get that color down. I'm gonna go right along the edge of this white glitter here and then fill in the center. And I'm going to repeat this process all the way around in all of these sections that you see that are now white. I will be back as soon as I have that completed. Okay, so back with the last part of this sign as far as getting it glittered. What I did when I left you before is I took the sections that I had removed from the stencil and I painted them with this acrylic ink. 
that way I have a buffer to apply my golden brown glitter. So now I'm gonna go in with my Mod Podge. And repeat the same process as before. I'm gonna paint down the Mod Podge. Work it into the edges to meet up with the other colors of glitter. Make sure I get right up into that corner. And then down here along this edge. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more to make sure that I have a nice sticky place for that glitter to land. And smooth it really quick with my paintbrush. And I'm going to go and dump that in. All right, let's repeat this all the way around this guy. So taking my paintbrush in right along the edge of the other color, being really careful as I'm going in there and then pushing it up into that point. Smoothing it all out. Same thing for this spot here. Push up into the point. And then I'm just gonna smooth to make sure I don't have any big ridges of Mod Podge left over. I have a smooth, even surface. And apply the glitter. I do go in and I press down to make sure that the glitter is sticking really well to the adhesive underneath. And I am going to repeat this process all the way around. I'm gonna paint in the Mod Podge all the way up into that point, down along the edge there, and then smooth it out. I am using a pointed paintbrush, which does make it a little easier to get up into those points. So I can just take the end of it and just press it into the tip of the shape there in order to get the adhesive into that spot. Sprinkle on the glitter, press it down, and repeat all the way around. So I will be back after I get the glitter all sprinkled onto this guy. Okay, so after the last part, I was painting on the Mod Podge into those sections and sprinkling in the golden brown. That's where I have left off. I have tapped it down. Just going through really quick, making sure I tapped all the spots. And now I'm going to tap off the excess. see what we're left with here. Now I do have this outside edge here. I'm undecided on what I'm going to do to finish that. It does have a triangular pattern cut into it, but I'm not sure. I think I might be leaving it solid. 
um, because I'm undecided, I am not going to finish that part of it on the video. Um, the next step in this, I am going to let it sit overnight so that the adhesive completely dries and then I plan on putting a layer of resin over the top. So I will film that next part as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this process and it sparked some creativity and some inspiration for you. I look forward to seeing what it is you guys come up with using this uh, technique. Have a good day guys.